Yellow Ninjas. Bruh. Black Ops 6 has just released. Fine. The time has come. A brand new campaign. I always do this every year. I play the campaign first, so. Oh, and yes, if you're wondering, I dislocated two of my fingers. I told you guys on the last video. But, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove it now. I'm not gonna be able to play, right? Ugh! We good, we good, we good. Brand new setup as well. Beautiful background. Courtesy of Watson Productions. Shout out. Look at that, look how clean it is. Do we do it regular? Re oh my gosh, regular, recruit, harden, or veteran? Let's go regular. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. An entire class of U.S. Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. Boy. Means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. Gee, we will yeah. stay the course and we will succeed. Cervantes. Felix, new man. Frank Woods. Breaking news, and there can be no doubt. Operation Desert Storm is working. Call of Duty. Is there time to shine? Are you denying that? We have discussed what it all. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. What are you going to tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. All right, so we're gonna have flashbacks. Good wait. <laughs> Allow he is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Allow has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground, target confirmed. Waiting on your go, over. Stealth plane? Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. Yeah, 
forgot how to play. It's been so long. My fingers, it, it feels weird. I don't lie. Ugh. That enemy? No, it's just there. You push in. Flash bang out. We're not that. Get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be the Pantheon was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. Made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you. Not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover allowance by any means necessary. Oh, I'm that... aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. How complicated? Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements and wait. Wait? What the hell with that? Barrage, come in. We're headed your way. No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Hey, let's start by softening them up. Equipment wheel. Oh. Equip swap carry. Okay. Can we use RC? Mm -hmm. Here. Let's get to work, Cash. Oh, my boy. Hey, guys. <laughs> That's our opening. Let's go. Punch through it. I don't know if my sense is okay. What's inside here? Armor plates. I got that. Damage. Get out. Oh no, it's RC. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, there, there you go. Is that a trip? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. Go first. And they'll get pick oh. us apart. This is definitely an ambush. Got this, RC out. Oh. We're only one guy. Totally worth it. Kill you myself. 
jump. Viraj, meet us at the bottom. New project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane. You just killed a high-value target in cold blood. And put our national security at risk. Hello, we can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. Nine. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck. Shit. Yeah, we get to shoot Elko. Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something Your in Woods his looking slick. Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. <laughs> okay, then. The suspense is unreal. Based on Harrow's <laughs> reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over, Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. The time has come, folks. All of you. My office in five. I'd Who's advise that? you not to pursue this further, Marshal. Captain. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? I mean, the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Don't get yourself cure killed, Erbod. 
three days later. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods. Achievement of luck. Unexpected move. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. Okay. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, it's about a sick CIA ass bunker. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason. To stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. It's gotta be HQ. Sure. Yeah. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savati Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to one and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. I don't think so. Op details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. Where is it? You're seeing Woods in the I've got a few out. ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe Nostalgia in a bit. Black Let's Ops talk too. when you have a minute. Alright. Nice knife. All right. <sighs> All right. What kind of life savings you got? Nothing I live day by day. That a boy. Garpe fucking deal. Well, guess what? If we're really doing this, we've got to get financially creative. Yep. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team, I'm thinking overhaul, an armory, place to train. Gear bench, not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free though. How much money do you have? So I mean, how much money do you have? <laughs> Marshall found a few grand stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna rob and hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's me. Yes, sir. My oh, man Woods. How did you and Adler find a place? We were following an old KGB trail and a single recording let us here. Seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, he knew nothing. Belikov thought maybe it was some kind of splinter group, not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red stepped foot in here since 1968. Can we be sure Adler was here alone? Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I could tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas, keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same, at least for now. We gotta the one run. behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look. All right, this is the board. Wait, let me go around. take a peek around. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Just tell me where you want to spend the cash and I'll set it up. Nice, so we got seven hundred dollars. Huh. What, what should we get first? Hey, what's up, DJ? Uh, I met my buddy's uh, place. The Watson Production. Sure. Uh, training area, gear station, weapons bench. What should I get? Uh, training area? Sounds good, right? Training? You told me to go to this place first. What's going on, man? What else can you tell me about the person I'm meeting? Just what we found in Atlas Files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Fear she was raised through the Guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. You got anything on about the So bathroom? far, we've got nothing but Atlas homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well armed, coordinated, and motivated. You believe in Al Adler? Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted Adler off the board one way or the other. Hmm. What about the person in Mushroom you're going to meet? Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of Arpanet a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. Arrow's safety? You worried about her? Jane's smart. Once Lingley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are gonna put a target on our head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we'll regroup. Am I worried? No. All right. Was trying to hit you up with the hey, cash? Are you kidding me? Nine years out, and I'm still writing checks to Temple. Tell him to take a home equity loan out on this place. Do you think Woods is dealing with all of this? That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama, lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between talking about me, Mason, it's not in his blood. Man's a soldier, killer. But his current situation, like, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. We know there's two multiple timelines. Wait, four in Black Ops Two. Mason does live one of them. Ending, endings, I believe. Uh, wait, wait. Woods mentioned that place in the KGB Splinter Group. Could explain why they haven't been back here. Maybe turn over some rocks when you have some time. Who knows what we might find in here? All right, you got it. Pretty See sick you back place. here on Thursday. I go outside. Ooh, open sesame. So this is the, the house, I believe, where Woods is, is staying. And uh, there's a cutscene in the winter time with uh, Mason. Wait, let me see. Hey, brother. Oh, I can. That's interesting. Oh, there's a machinery. Sick. There's a training area. I bought that for a reason. Train my hand. Go back here.
Footsteps are so loud. Hopefully we got ninja in the game. Burp. We go back here. Oh, there we go. Oh, use training area. Thank you. This surge, 200 bucks? Training area. Blast for this. We'll take the first one, I guess. That increases our health. Good. I use it. Can't use guns. Oh, there we go. No, I can't use it. Okay. Five lights. This is this is pretty sick, man. You're like an investigator, figuring out clues and stuff. I've I know, like, in Cold War, I did, like, a ton of stuff, like, side quests and stuff. Fine. Oh, it's only woods. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do the second mission. I'm a ninja, and I'm gonna get ya, where the sun don't hit ya, and you'll never see it coming, even if you're on the run, there is nobody in this world that can protect ya. You can't match my speed. Bye, no have way. a great time.